Hi, and welcome to our stop motion film project. Last time we did, was working on this one. Oh, it's over on this side. You can see it's uh, this one we made so they could drag stuff up in their tree, tree hut. But uh, for newcomers, this is about a stop motion animation we are going to make. And the story is about Flint, the guy in the top of the tree. And this is just a, a rough uh, markup. He's not uh, how he's going to look. But just so I could get an idea of scale and so on. So. Uh, but, and this is the smallest size I can make him, him and still make him move and, and things like that. Um, but, uh, and the story is uh, going on in the Stone Age, where him, uh, Flint, and his friends are having fun to friends and their family and so on. And those who have followed along have seen all the, the forests and stuff. And this is a part of the forest. And you can see we have put, you cannot see because of the, now you can, flowers in here and so on. and. Uh, rope ladder we made last time and all on. So now we have to put a, a branch on here with some greens on and then we have to, maybe we're gonna do this first. We have to, um, maybe you can see here where it's kind of not looking good. Uh, because where we have mounted the branches. So we will make that look a little bit nicer with some clay. And then we will paint it. falling. But as you can see, it's <clears throat> each item is a lot of work to make. takes a lot of time. But uh, we will get there. And this tree we are going to make in a big version also. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still cold. I still have a cold. That's how I won't say it. Be 
because you can see you cannot get a camera under this and shoot upwards and so on so you need to uh, make a bigger one for the close-ups and the more detailed one. As I have said many times, it's all trial and error. Then we fix it. If it don't don't work in one way, we will make it in another way. I have never made a, uh, a stop motion before, so so I step there. <clears throat> and I'm guessing I'm running into a lot of trouble later on also, so. But uh, that's the fun part of it. To figure out all the solutions and how to do it. Paint this white stuff. Later, when we are finished. just so that I hide all the the wires I have here or the threads. All the other tra trees in the, on the set, I have uh, most of them. Uh, most of it I have printed out in 3D print, but this is too big to print.
Brakes don't work. Pass now. Stand up. And where was it? Oops. Need to get some uh, 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 first of all, I need to print uh, them out. Uh, I think the first thing I will make uh, when I start to make the uh, figures the person's uh, people in the film is uh, print them out in the, a big one in so I can well, do we call it pro prototype of each one of them but I still need to make a lot of faces and bodies before I can do that. But sometimes I jump a little because it can be kind of innovating to make faces over and over and over again. I have made a lot of them, but I still need a lot. There will be about 50 persons in it. And I have to model ahead to all of them. And 
give them a body. And then I have to make a skeleton too, so I c so they can so I can animate them. And one thing I haven't tried yet that is uh, to make cast and mold, so I kind of feel that a little. And I guess we can figure it out. Somehow, Must be possible. To do. Then we have to make uh, branches for with leaves with autumn leaves on. Also trees, autumn trees. So if you ever gonna make a stop motion, I would suggest that you do it, you make the story in a desert, <laughs> instead of all this. would have been easier, but now it is what it is. This is not that critical with this tree because we never get that close with the pictures on it. But still. Because we all know that if there is some <coughs> some fault 
in the hill. You will see it immediately. Humans are very good to find flaws in stuff. Do get around. That is good enough. Thing there. Smoothen it out a little. Or what we call it. As you probably can see, there is a kind of wood and 
metal frame inside the tree. So it's kind of <coughs> it's kind of more uh, stable than because I use uh, all oil based clay and uh, when it gets uh, hot in the studio it kind of gets soft and then kind of it all will go start to hang some of the first one I made I made only with wire but uh, that was not enough. I have to repair them again. It's not that stable. <laughs> I get in there. And the last two, I think. Last couple of branches. Let a little color on to hide it, and then this white stuff. I have used a lot of this. I think I have bought at least 100 kilos by now. I can reuse it for when I make the the heads I make the and bodies and animals I can just when I have scanned them I can reuse but I until now I haven't done that because 
I'm a little afraid that something happens when I don't have the original. So and this expensive but but until now it have cost a lot of money so isn't that what we needed I think so. I don't know. We will put this one on. Put the last. Went on. Drill the hole. So use I use super glue for that, so it dries very fast. So. And one has to remember to clean the tip on this every time. And it kind of builds up anyway. So. <clears throat> Just wait a minute and then we can put some stuff on this too. But we can take and move this first. So we don't. It's already. It's good. Not too much. Not too little. Maybe it wasn't. I will fetch some tools. <clears throat> so that we can I was a little too fast. Oops. Little. And 
I know those who see this are thinking it's very slow moving and it is but even slow moving can be too fast in this business Okay, it was this part. Hmm? Off again. get it in there. Please do it. Why isn't it? Okay. Now I do it. I will get another tool. Sorry. Because that if I use this little guy, it will get destroyed with this one here. So, but this can do it. up again and hope we can get it on there. So, patience, patience, patience. Now we will let her rest for a little while. We can do that later. <coughs> So we don't destroy it again. Then we have some paint. If that is still working. Like it's okay. Yes.
There you go. A new piece of paper towels. The world couldn't do without paper towels, I think. At least my world. So. And you can see the tree are painted in several colors. No tree are uh, just one color. It's a lot of colors. it several times. Get all the white stuff away because you can be sure that it will be seen on the film. start shooting. will be looking to it will give it a chance.
point out. That was not the plan. Something was sticking out. Him? I will guarantee you tomorrow I will see a lot of spots too. But, uh, that's how it is.
and then we move up one store. One floor, I mean, I think. I think that's okay. Okay. The leaf is falling. Right. That is what one can expect because it's fall least outside. It's kind of make as making a oil painting in three D. don't even have a big a big uh, virtual virtual reality helmet on my head that is magic <clears throat> it must be augmented reality. Oops. And I can even hold the tree and touch it and feel it. Okay, now I tilt it 
Have I done them all now? Yes. <coughs> I think so, except the one we need. Only one left. Put this aside and try not to tilt it. Nope. I missed this one. Now I think I have done all of them. And then seeing if it works this time. <laughs> he got tired. I think it worked. My paint is wet. And there's some wires. See? 
in here. through the camera. <sighs> so that was what we made tonight because now I have wasted another hour of your time. But uh, I will try to Waste another one next week, next Monday. We will carry on. And uh, I think we, I don't know yet what, but uh, it will not be a tree. So much, oops, so much I can say. See, I knew it. As soon as you sit and look at it. It will not be a tree. Something else we'll make uh, next Monday. But because these are nearly finished, I just have to apply some different colors on the stuff I made now. The darker kind of brush it on. And then you're finished with this one. So, I will say thank you for watching, and uh, tomorrow we are back with, uh, I'm back with Kit's workshop, and we are making a fishing boat. So, for those of you who are interested in that stuff, you can join us. Or else I'll see you again next Monday. Thank you and good night.